What's going on, guys? I am Switters. Welcome back to Vampire Part 13. Um, in the last episode, uh, we made our way into Whitechapel, had a few fights. Um, we did some trading, bought some things from a street merchant woman, and we also mesmerized and um, embraced one of the citizens in Whitechapel to get us a little bit stronger. Um, he wasn't so healthy though, so we didn't get that much experience from him, so hopefully we can uh, find some other residents who are in better shape, or maybe we can cure them. Um, also, real quick before we get started, right now just go ahead and leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to set a new record on this video for likes, we're going really high. So hang on to your socks. We want 10 likes. Not 10,000. 10. It would be a new record for us. So let's see if we can get 10. We can do 10, right? I mean, 10? Come on. It's locked, all right. All right, let's go. Real quick, I'm going to check our map, too, here. So we have a hideout right here. I think we upgraded everything that we could last time. So no need to go back right now. We've got a guy with bronchitis over here. Oh, this is the... Okay. We just talked to him um, and he went back and talked to the nurse. Um, nurse Crane, I think her name is. <coughs> uh... They turned us away, but we're going to try to get back in there and find out what's going on with her. This little underground operation she's running over here. Who do we have? Unknown. How long have we known each other? We even used to be neighbors, for Christ's sake. Welcome, sir. Please, take a browse of my wares. I am Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. Nothing yet. Have you heard of a nurse called Dorothy Crane? Nurse Crane? So the bitch really is a nurse then. Always thought she was just some crafty foreigner, that one. Uh, yeah. So she's trying to help her fellow immigrants. Why would that make her a villain? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea Craniu. Something like that. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse Crane gives away medical supplies and prescriptions for free. I offered to sell it for a fair cut, but no. Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. Okay, we have a new hint available. Basically, it's just what he told us right now, so... How is business around here? Business? I have no business. Between this racket, theft, and customers getting scared, I'm losing money every day. I see. Sounds like you blame someone in particular for your situation. It's no secret Joe Peterson spends his time harassing merchants. But with me, he's trying to put me out of business once and for all. Uh, so it looks As like the guy he was talking to left, so we can every probably day. mesmerize and take Have him out pretty quick. Have you anything out of the ordinary recently? Well, you mean besides the epidemic, the war, and all the usual crap? As long as I can remember, this part of town has been a bottomless pit. And no sign of the bottom yet. Have you been hurt? No, but that's only because I ran like hell. Those men were raving lunatics, I tell you. Not even able to speak anymore, just screaming. Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights ago, some blokes jumped me. Came out of one of the condemned workshops. Fever. Madness. Something like that. Where did this happen? Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. Too bad I was mugged, though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. Trinkets and more. New investigation. Um, I think that's going to be like a side quest kind of a deal. Uh, so this guy's plenty healthy. 
I want to, uh, I don't want to trade, I don't have any. What did we, we unlocked a hint, but maybe I need to look at it first. Tough financial situation, yeah, okay. Oh, he's a level four, so I don't know that we'll be able to. I think we won't be able to. So nothing here. Yeah, I'm holding the left bumper down and nothing's happening. So for sure it's um if you're not on there at least at right their then. level. Show me what you have. Then you just can't do it. There's no like you have to just try harder or anything like that. Um We're not Oh, we did need for our weapons to upgrade. We did need I think two tiny common handle parts. Good handlebar, I don't remember. Hmm, I know we have, well, we did have some springs anyway. Or is this how many I have? Is it showing me that? I'm not gonna get any medicines. We just bought some stuff off the lady. I'm gonna buy a couple of these because I think we needed two. Or that's how many he has available, it looks like. Okay, um... Oh, I could sell it. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna sell any stuff right now. We seem to find money pretty easy. And we just don't need... We don't need, uh that right now. So let's have a lock onto this guy. We don't know much about him. Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist. I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson, the son. But Colossus Joe at most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. We're not going to be able to get this guy either. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane? Yeah, I know her. One of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. How did you become the local bully everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. But this is the only job I've found. And it pays well, too. A job? So you're racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the Wet Boot Boys, a gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. Uh, you survive at any cost, on this good even side. at the expense of others. Perhaps that's just the law of nature. I don't care what you think, sir. I'll do what I have to do for my own reasons, and that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by all means necessary philosophy, sir. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? Barrett can be as sneaky as anyone. Long ago, I even called the bastard my best friend. Well, new hints available. Joe's extortions put Barrett Lewis in tough financial situation. Joe and Barrett Lewis used to be good friends. Okay, there's two more things we could find out. May I ask what you do around here? I'll do whatever I want, and sometimes even more. Now sod off. Well, that's not nice. According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this neighborhood, are you? I guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being stabbed in the back. This part of town does have quite a reputation. Would you say it's justified? Totally. 
Look at me, for instance. I always look my opponent in the eye before knocking him out. Oh, he's a tough guy. Yeah, can't mesmerize. Uh, let's goodbye, just say goodbye. There's more, um... More hints we might be able to unlock, but uh, the conversations are a little dull, to be honest. <laughs> we have a priest up here. Anything we know about you? No? Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. How's that? Have you any friends? Any family left in these terrible times? No. But I have a disciple I see as my son. He is so devoted. I send him to preach the good word in the heart of this corrupted city. Where did you send him? I sent Samuel to the Stonebridge Cemetery, where the pestilence and evil grows night after night. You sent him on some preaching crusade during the epidemic. As a true believer, Samuel will fear no evil while he walks through the valley of the shadow of death. It's a lot of new side quests popping up, but... Um, Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane? Again, we're going to try to just stick to the main I'd like to know more story about because it I would just like take too long. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses. But I especially abhor that Nurse Crane you mentioned. Why do you hate Nurse Crane more than other nurses? Before coming to London, she was a member of the communist resistance in her country. That's what happens when you let a woman get involved in politics. How much more can we find out about her? And this is the reason why I'm talking to all these people, is uh, you got to unlock these things. Um, we're almost there with her, and she's only level So you're two. not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale's work, but nurses are essential for modern healthcare. Nuns should be the only women allowed to take care of male patients. It's obvious only they have the necessary moral fiber. Okay, guy. Okay. Oh, he's level five. Whoa. Okay, we're wasting our time. I have had enough for tonight. Goodbye. Well, I really need to. Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? Name's Clayton sure. Darby, reporter. Sorry, I'm new to Whitechapel. Oh, we were looking but for him, right? Perhaps you could help me, since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Doctor Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. Your investigation... Uh, underground medical dispenser. Let's just talk to him a little bit. Why are the newspapers keeping silent about the Spanish influenza? It's as though none of you care. There's a war going on. People shouldn't be demoralized by news of deadly diseases. I served in France. Our top priority must be to put an end to this butchery. This war must stop now. Sir, streets are a battlefield too. An invisible and untold war is going on, and it must be stopped. <laughs> Have you any idea of the danger you face in these streets at night? I've had to run and hide more than once from frenzied mobs incensed by the fever. Do you think the flu is really responsible for this, Doctor? No. I'm convinced there is more at work here than a simple epidemic. Really? <sighs> to be honest, I could say the same. Some of the sick I saw or heard of. My God, what happened to them? What is a journalist doing in this borough after sunset? He goes where none of his colleagues would dare to go, to inform the country. 
So you risk your life to reveal the truth. I saw many reporters do the same during the war. Whitechapel is the crucible of so many untold stories and tragedies. I want people to know them. Okay, we got some hints. Yes, he wants the people to know the truth. He is a level four, suffering from fatigue. Um, treatment for cure with the treatment for fatigue. How do I? No, that's not what I wanted to do. How do I give that to them, though? I still don't know. Mm. Yeah, I... I still don't know how to do this. That's quite honorable. Of like how to heal the people but just is the walking public around. Interested? Not at all, sir. And that's why I'm an independent journalist, hoping to sell some stories. I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are wary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? I'm a doctor, Mr. Darby. I care about everything involving public health and this epidemic. Are you sure you're not just concerned about the repercussions that a scandal involving a certain nurse crane from the Pembroke Hospital would bring? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. He never goes out? No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. We just he never that, right? goes out? No. A few days ago, he yeah, unexpectedly okay. I did. So. <laughs> I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting... I bet letter, you he ripped it he up. Ripped it up and threw oh, it away. boy. He has no relatives at all? No. Except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Oh, we're looking for him, too. Let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. Okay. Oh, let's... Can we... Do you need assistance? That would be nice of you, Doctor. Who knows what I may have caught you in my investigation. If you persist in investigating the most pox-ridden boroughs of London, you must accept the risks. Thank you, sir. Fantastic. I figured out how to do it. It says it right there the, with the medical checkup. So you are a trigger shows you how well he's doing um you press rb Do and you, you need get assistance save your time for the people who need you here doctor and then if they need it you can uh administer the medicine okay finally Goodbye, that's very Mr. good Dark. to know farewell okay so my fault for not uh picking up on that sooner so he's better we're helping out the area again it makes um it makes it i think it makes it so there's less of these people around that we have to fight these crazies scowls we got another one he's dazed is that what that said or dazzled he's a dazzled scowl okay that means exactly. Ah. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
these. Okay. <clears throat> so let's pick up their little man purses if they dropped anything. I don't see any more. Usually each person has one. Okay, well, that's unfortunate, but whatever. Um, we didn't take much damage during that, so no need to heal ourselves or do anything. Okay, so nothing to pick up, just the one. Let's continue down. We need to find uh, Richard Nithercott and find the mailbox. Okay, we need to find where he ripped up that letter. And this is the guy the priest sent in? Because yeah, we're in the, the grave now. Hello. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott, at your service. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. Darius is the right arm of Dorothy Crane. Darius is a former Romanian political activist. Okay, one more thing about him. Um, to unlock. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane, a nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. But, sorry, no, never heard of her. He's got a cold, and we don't have the cure for it. And we can't mesmerize him either. There was nothing well, else can about you tell him, me about right? An old man called Darius. Darius Petrescu. Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small yeah, publisher. Okay. I invited him to. I really wish it would let me back out of these the conversations. Pretty clear. Not interested in your talent. Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. Tell me, Mr. Nethercott, why seek inspiration in Whitechapel? The place is not beautiful per se, but uh, how to explain it? Stirring and challenging. In what way, exactly? The struggle by gaslight, the barren smiles and the arid hunger under the rain. If you say so. Such vibrant antagonism and vivid paradox, the stripped humanity raged yeah, across Typical each pretentious street. poet. Type. Vivid, okay. of course. We get yes. it. And what about the poignant distress? Oh yes, the poignant distress. You see what I mean, don't you? That's what I want to write about, and that's what Whitechapel is made of. Do you not think it a little morbid? On the contrary, sir. Whitechapel is full of life, full of beauty. Just like my dear muse, the wonderful Camellia. What can you tell me about Camellia? Not much. And that's the beauty of it. She can't speak, you know. She's a locked mystery who exhales kindness and sweetness. Oh, enough about this guy. All right, we know something about Camellia. Uh, we know something more about him. Uh, perhaps you're just afraid to find out the truth about your muse. One day, perhaps, I'll ask her to come with me. But, ah, uh, will she still be my wild flower of Whitechapel if she moves uptown? And have you ever tried to learn more about her? Where she lives? 
How she survives, whom she may know. Maybe I prefer she remains an enigma. Reality can be so dull, don't you think? Okay. Um, did I ask him? May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you if I can. Yeah, I already did, right? I'm looking for Dorothy Crane. A nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love. Oh the yes, name. I definitely the did. Crane Sorry, of some of these conversations—they just very mysterious. drone on a bit. <laughs> I forget no, what I asked and what I didn't ask. All right, we're done with you, guy. I'll leave you alone, sir. I really wish I was up to level two um, to take this guy down, but unfortunately, not yet. I saw, yeah, here we go. Oh, here we go. There's the letter we were looking for. Find the mailbox in the letter. Didn't I just find the letter? Hmm. Okay, I thought that's what that was, but I guess not. Uh, it looks like we can't get out over here. Let's just make sure there's nothing lying around. Anything here we can pick up, examine, or otherwise use? Who are you? Oh, there's Camellia. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed. There's a creep, like, like 15 feet questions. behind us, who's stalking you. I know what you're thinking. A tall stranger who meets a girl in the street at night. It reeks of the penny dreadfuls. But I mean you no harm. I know you understand what I'm saying. Your silence has nothing to do with you being mute, does it? Tell me about Richard Nithercott. I understand he is quite fond of you, Camellia. Okay. She's healthy, so nothing we could do there. She's way stronger than us, and Very I don't well. have enough um, Goodbye, then. hints unlocked to go any further with her. Can I... what are you doing there, walking on top of the plant? Small flower bouquet. A small flower bouquet with a voucher for a free medical checkup hidden between the flowers. Um, so again, in English and Romanian, that's uh, Nurse Crane. And we just got a hint. So she dropped it off there, I'm assuming. Do you think if we talk to her again, she'll tell us anything now? It's an odd thing to say about a mute person, but... Um, perhaps she's not actually mute. I just saw you glow, thank you. Find the mailbox. Yeah. Guy, you're going around in circles. Darius Petrescu's, Petrescu's uh, letter. My dearest, most beloved children. I'm so sorry you haven't heard from me in a, for a few months. The situation in London has been difficult. I know it may sound selfish and silly uh, when you, my children, are still living in a country consumed by war, but there is also a war going on here in England, a war against poverty and uh, against injustice. This is a war I intend to fight despite my advanced years. This is why I'm writing to you today. I won't be coming back to Romania. That probably means I won't see you again before I die. Don't be sad, my darlings. You're grown up now and have children of your own. You know the sacrifice we must sometimes accept uh, to make the world a better place. This is one I must make now, to feel useful one more time. I wish you a long and happy life. Kiss my grandchildren for me, and remember that your father loves you all the way from this cold, damp country. I am, as ever, your loving father, Darius Petrescu. Okay, so not a fake The content of Darius' letter, letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. Okay, so we're going to no, go back and... this is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. 
Okay, yeah, we're gonna go talk to him, but I want to see if I can, because we unlocked the hint with her. Um, one more time. Hello again, miss. Camellia, I know you work for Dorothy Crane. Please tell me about her secret dispensary. Hmm. A stubborn and mute comrade. Nurse Crane and Darius Petrescu have been clever. Okay, well, we've already asked um, the other stuff. We have all the hints on her that we're going to get. You don't seem to need my medical attention for now. Yes, ellipses, 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 okay. Uh... Very well. I think we're just done with her for Goodbye. now. I mean, nothing we can do. So, let's just go back, try to get into the Nurse Crane's office again. And then we'll end this episode there if we get in. Hopefully we will. I think we can use that for upgrading our defenses or weapons. Oh, we found three bullets, too. Uh, okay. So this this episode, a lot of a uh, lot of talking to the locals, finding out whatever. Joe Peterson is a level three. Let's see if I can, uh, I just want to see if I can give him the medical treatment right now. Just one of the random loading oh, screens you get from time to time. I, okay, I thought he, the other guy started the conversation you already. Again. What do you want this time? Can I offer you my medical expertise, Mr. Peterson? Keep your medicines for others. There is a thin line between pride and stupidity, sir. Please, take this medication. You'll feel better. All right. I'll take it then. It's not like I don't appreciate the gesture. Okay, very good. We could probably ask Goodbye, more questions. Peterson. I just... Uh, I can't tolerate any more questions right now. I just want a little more action. Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again. Go away. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. All right, that was pretty easy. Darius Petrescu's house. I don't know if it's Q or Q. Anyhow, that's my Q for the end of this episode. Uh, we'll be right back with the next one. Again, guys, we're looking for 10 likes. Who's still around here at the end of the video? Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're here to hear this at the end.